Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Simulator 2022 video. In today's one, well we're doing this, good evening driver, today we'll be driving this passenger service towards Sutton, although we're going as far as St Pancras International. Head to St Albans Platform 1 where you will make your first passenger pickup. So let's get the let's get this set up. This is the 319, which is an absolutely beautiful train and sounds amazing. Uh, we've got the clear, let's get going. Uh, wipers, wipers, wipers. I always forget where the wipers are in this one. There they are. There we go. Yeah, cool. But yeah, we're in the 319 today, which we have been in before a few times. There it is. We are real fans. As we come out of the St. Albans turnback side in. Let's see what station. Wow, we have quite a few stations. Uh, we've got Radlett, Elstree and Boreham Mill Hill Broadway, Hendon, Cricklewood, West Hampstead, Thameslink, Kentish. Oh no, I'm just at Kentish Town and St Pancras at 20 past. It's about half an hour down to uh, St Pancras. As we make our way into the city, we're only a four coach. There's another 319 with its marker lights on for some reason. Got the tail lights. Oh, we've gone right, right past there. Ah, that's not too bad. Right, there we go. Let's do the doors. No passengers on it, so you can grip it and rip it. Nice. St Albans. But yeah, this is the Midland Main Line. So it goes from Bedford, which is up there, down to St Pancras, which is which is down here. When are we due out of here? We're due out at 54 so about 15 seconds and we'll make our way yeah 319 lovely train and the seats are just as good as well instead of ironing boards there's actually a bit of padding uh, padding to them all passengers are on board proceed to St Pancras stopping at all of those stations let's go Sounds great as well. Goes up to 80. And it's Radlett next. And Radlett is in 4 miles. It's a bit of a gap to the first stop. How far to 19 miles to St Pancras? Let's try and be on time for once. As most of the time we are always late. Cool. As we get going, uh, it goes up to 90 as well. Nice. Adler, Elstrian, Bournemouth, Mill Hill, Broadway, Hendon, Cricklewood, uh, West Hampstead, Thameslink, and finally St Pancras at 20 past. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a journey south as we make our way into the city. First Capital Connect. I don't know if you. I wonder if you. I, I think if you get this DLC now, I don't actually know if it says First Capital Connect on the side. Which I'm not too sure. No, because I got this one back in summer. No, so probably not. Because the other day I was doing a scenario and I didn't see the First Capital Connect on the side. I went for the BML one, so I thought they might have had to uh, take it off. But no, it's still there. It's cool, that First Capital Connect. Which these lot went in. 2015 first Capital Connect one, then you had uh, Thameslink coming in. Well, originally it was Thameslink, then it went to, I think, Connex, and then to Thameslink again. Well, first Capital Connect, then Thameslink. Again. Cool. Let's get a fly by short. We've still got a bit of a distance to Radlett. Let's go ahead and let's watch the train whizzing by. There's the motor sounds you want to hear. Well, it seems to be quite quiet from the outside. But yeah, this is the standard 319, so this one's on the Steam store. The one I usually use is the AP 319. Which, if you don't know AP, they just enhance bits and bobs. 
So make it a bit more technical, pretty much, so do. And obviously sound a bit better. Right, there's Radley on the distance graph. So there's a fair big gap between all the stations on the journey. They're not all close together. Well, they're quite close to those ones, but... Yeah, fair distance. There's another 319. There it goes. I said about 25 minutes this scenario. Although sometimes it says 25, but it's 30, 35, so... Sometimes I'm even shorter. But this is one of the um, career scenarios. Let's whack that on. As we approach Radlet. What time are we due in there? Uh, we're doing at 58, so probably going to be it. We're probably going to be late. Knowing us. We're at top speed and we're somehow still going to be running behind. Oh well. I'll come in relatively quick. Uh, quick. Let's get that on. Full service and ease it out a little bit as we get slightly closer. Yeah, this is Radlet. Where is the stop marker? Stop marker is... I think it's an S-car stop. So, oh no, there we go. Just there. And ease off the brakes a little bit as we come to a stop. Here we are, this is Radlet. Cool. But yeah, with the Midland Main Line, I think you just get the 319, although Just Trains do um, do provide a triple two, or well, that's separate DLC. Elstree and Boreham Wood next in 2.8 miles. Walls are closing. And let's go let's go full whack on that. We are a I don't know, a quick stopper service. So a bit more harsh on the brakes and a bit more harsh on the accelerator. Let's go. You've got a separate uh, throttle and brake on here. And off we go. Can't open the windows. There's the train, there it is. And see through there. Oh. There you go, see through there. What's that say? Service delivery. Oh, fault finding. Five minutes of your train stopping. Cool. What time was you into Pancras? 25, wasn't it? Oh, 21. Okay. That's not too bad. 20. Or well, 20 past. So we've got about 20 minutes from here down to uh, the city. Although, when does it actually count as us being in London? What is sort of the... What's North London? I thought St Albans was always sort of the north part of London. Oh, we're not stopping at Millhall Broadway. I thought we were stopping there. Just as go via. Same with Kentish Town as well. Oh, these are all go via. Okay. No, I thought we might have been stopping there. So, after this one, we are then fast to West Hampstead Thames, I think. Okay, cool. It's just because they had the time, so that's not too bad then. So we are, well, a fast service then. The rain does look good on this game. It's an old game, the train sim, but the rain looks decent as it comes down. The blind as well. Not too far now. now at some point, I do, I do want to do a um, Brighton to Bedford run. Well, yeah, Brighton to Bedford. It's 107 miles and takes two and a half hours, but it's good fun though. Just really went for a scenario on the Steam Workshop of all the right stuff. And then uh, then we'll try and do that. Yeah, coming up to Elstree and Boreham Wood. Get the brakes on a tad more. Station's just there. Yeah, 
Yes, AWS. That's the one for the 75. Yeah, because the 319 um, used to be a separate DLC. Well, it still is. Well, it depends what line you get it for. Um, but the, the London to Brighton on this one you used to be able to buy it as a separate DLC for that. Although on this route, it's include, uh, included with it. So I suppose what you could do is you could, if you don't want the career scenarios, get London to Brighton with the Midland Main Line. And then just look on the Steam Workshop for scenarios with this version. That probably would work. Here we are. Although well, I don't know if this one can operate on shoes. I think this one's like the AC version. Obviously realistically you can do both, but I think this one might just be locked to AC running. Uh, maybe not. No, possibly not. Yeah, possibly not. Right, so we're now fast to West Hampstead Thameslink, which is in 8 miles, and we'll do that 11 past. We arrive there. Uh, are we on time? Uh, yeah, we're on time. Cool. Let's go. The finale. Yeah, lovely train, the 319. Nowadays it's running up north. Uh, also on the west coast main line as well. Because it left the sort of south and it's now above London up there. Uh, Northern and also they have been converted to class 769s as well. Which I think the buy mode one, so diesel and electric. And they're going to be in service fairly soon I believe with GWR. Running back on the Brighton main line. Well, Brighton up to Red Hill and then off the North Downs line. Nice, we're doing alright at the moment. Yeah, so we've got about, what, six minutes to um, West Hampstead Thameslink. Uh, it says we're going to get there at 06, so we're going to be getting there. No, that's Mill Hill Broadway, but we should be on time. After that, that's straight to St Pancras. Nice. Three one nine, three seven nine. How many three one nines were built? I suppose so many dashes of them. Dash two, dash three, dash up. To, yeah. Feels like the same with the one five eight. It seems to be so many of them. Up to ninety miles an hour. Which the top speed of these, I think, are one hundred. Yeah, a hundred miles an hour in the. 319, hello. This unit has been fitted with the remote communication frame. The new Traxton system reset procedure must be followed as detailed in fault finding. Okay. So I think this sort of counts as London now, doesn't it? Mill Hill. That's on the Northern Line, I think, Mill Hill. Yeah, I think it's Mill Hill on the Northern Line. So I guess this sort of counts as London now. Let's have a look at the uh, map. Yeah, so West Hampstead is here. Yeah, West Hampstead Thames. So that's our next stop just there. I'm shooting our way down. Here we go. Hendon next, which is in two and a half. Or near enough two and a half. As we make our way along. There's now 319. I'm surprised the first capital connect 377 isn't, isn't included with this one. Although that is a separate DLC for the Brighton Main Line as well. So maybe that's why it wasn't included. Now 319. Well, you can't go wrong with the 319 though. 12 coach. 
They had first capital connect ever run 12 coaches. Oh, it was always, always 8 coaches. Could be wrong, though. I don't know. Does anyone know? Did first capital connect run 12 coaches? I can't remember. All I remember is 4 and 8 on the Brighton main line. Well, this is the Midland main line, so probably different. Oh, hello. We're going to be speeding. I thought we'd get, get a good amount of points as well. I was like, we're doing quite well. But no, there's the minus 20. We could have got a thousand. It's, it's just not going to happen. So I think we're going on to the fast lines now. Yeah, I think the slow line go over the top. Yeah, I know I'm speeding. I'll bring it down. Don't worry. It doesn't even give you like a few seconds to bring it down. It's just straight away minus. Minus points for you. Well, maybe this is still the slow line. No, I think we've just gone. Yeah, I think we still are on the on the slow. Yeah, passenger cam action. What do you prefer, though, seven hundred or the three one nine? Or the 377-5, as they were originally with First Capital Connect. Got to be the 377-5 out of between the 700 and the 377. Much comfier. So we've gone through Hendon now. Cricklewood, then West Hampstead. Then we're going via Kentish Town. Uh, it's about five miles now. Yes, there we go, don't worry. 75 coming up. I don't think there was a warning board for the 60 back there. There you go, it's coming down. It's an open sea. So this is Cricklewood. We're about to go through. Let's push ahead and let's get a shot of us going through here. There we go. But yeah, if anyone has got any scenario suggestions, 15, 20 minutes for train sim, do let me know. Uh, maybe you can link them in the comments. Uh, or actually, probably DM me on Discord, that'll be easier. Uh, and we can uh, take a look at that scenario done. Hello. <laughs> the wires have just gone into the train there. Um, okay. <laughs> I'd be a bit worried if that did happen in real life. But here we are, West Hempstead Thames Inc. Platform 1. And this is sort of the start of the Thames Inc. stations. As we're coming up to the core section soon enough. Here we are. This is West Hampstead Thames Link. Stock marker is probably on there, isn't it? Yeah, full coach. So just under the bridge. Right down. Here we are. Cool, we made it. Doors. And after this, it is then Kintish Town, which we're not stopping at. And it, I didn't hear that train go past. And then St Pancras, which is in. Oh, there's over there. 3.7. Well, it's about 10 minutes to get there. Like 9 by the time we leave. As the speed does go quite slow, it's about 30, I think, through the tunnel. And I believe there was two halves to this scenario, and we did the other half. I think it was the other half. 
Um, we did um, about a couple of weeks back. Let's go. Let's watch it going out again. There you go, it's first capital connect. With a very distinctive livery. Which the thing, this livery has then gone to the Thames Inc. livery. It's just such a nice livery. Just to grey and white. <laughs> the 700s have such a boring livery to them. Although imagine a first Capital Connect livery on a 700. That would be weird. Or even having the original Thames Link livery as the modern day one, that would be cool. Maybe make it slightly more modern. But just sort of as a nod to um, to the old Thames Link. Which was like the dark blue, dark blue main body. And then you had like a, like a brownie orange stripe gun along the whole train. With like white outlines and it said Thames Link along the side. Um, look it up. The old Thames Inc. livery on the 319 really does suit it. Popping that down to 50. You can start to see we start going downhill now. And very soon you'll see it properly starting to come in. In fact, you can see it now. Really seep down into St Pancras. Now down to 50. And then 230. And we've actually signalled this part as well. Uh, on rail route. Uh, we signalled this section. Yes. Which was cool. 10 miles an hour off that way. Where's that go over there? Let's have a look. 10 miles an hour going off there. Goes off to Tottenham. Oh, Tottenham North Curve. I don't know where about that goes. Passenger trains. Now down to thirty. So it's quite slow through Kentish Town. Almost feels like you should sort of stop there. And it's thirty. All of the way now to St Pancras, pretty much. So 1.6. As we pass through Kentish Town. There we go. Wouldn't mind getting that soon as well. That train behind there. That one. Wouldn't mind getting that. I think it's like a 423. Which is like the trains before the 377. That would be um, cool to pick up at some point. It's quite slow. Along here, and soon we're going to be going right down. Very steep. You can start to see it coming up here. Actually, you sort of, sort of start going down. Cool. What's going on with the also the was it the automatic train control? Through um, through the core section, they're still using that. As I remember, a couple of years ago, they said that the 700s were pretty much driverless. Well, there was a driver there, but they sort of drove themselves through the core section. Is that does that still happen, or was that sort of trialed but not really that successful? Yeah, make our way down. This is the blimmin' steep grade. 
I think all of this was built in the 1980s, I think. So St Pancras is quite 80s looking. I suppose this was sort of almost like the, cr the first cross rail. The one that's pretty much cross rail too. You know, national rail trains going through under tunnels through London. A bit of speed in there. We're going to only be like 30 points off getting max. Well, no, I think no. Actually, no, I think this station. No, this was. This one's much newer. Yeah, this one is. Yeah, this one's much newer. I think this one's. Um, oh, I'm trying to think now. This one must be. Yeah, as you've got. You had the original King's Cross Thames Link. Well, this is St Pancras Thames Link, so I think this one could even actually be the 2000s. This one opened. Yeah, this one could be 2000s, and then the one along, which is now shut, that was the original one. No, so take that back. This isn't 80s. I'll come just about here. Yeah, I think this is noughties. This one. I'm just gonna have a look after actually. There we go. Well, that is going to be everyone for today's train simulator video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. You will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. But apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.